so quiet. I'm here. Oh, no, I, I just can't see you. You can't see my camera? I can see you. I can see you. I can see your camera. And we got Bakari and we got Raz B on. What's up, everybody on YouTube? How you doing? Yo, oh, yo. my gosh. Hey. It is yo, yo, yo. What's up, guys? I got Raz B. He's getting his fade. He's getting cleaned up and looking all nice and, and, and all and just nice. Just really nice. And we have Bakari on the show as well. So I'm going to go ahead and mute this because otherwise I'm going to be hearing myself back and forward. Hold on a second. So I am getting ready to go ahead and start this. I cannot have both of these on at the same time because this is not going to work. But we are waiting for a few different people to come on. And I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in to Dream Chasers Radio. This is a live show with Soul For Real, Rico Ball, Bakari Bla uh, Bl uh, Blockton, uh, Rasby and Marquise Moore. And I believe we may have one more. We have Jace coming in now. Oh my goodness. So I'm excited about this whole thing. We're going to start off the show with the young man, Bakari. Uh, Bakari, how are you? I'm doing well. Bakari is energetic. I love him. I love him. And he has been on Nickelodeon. Bakari, so tell me all about you. Tell me all about yourself. Well, I started acting at four, got signed with Central Casting. Um, I started off with like Raising Dion and I did, I'm actually on the cover of a calendar for Creative Soul for 2022. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, you can still buy it on creativesoulphotography.com. Mm -hmm. And also I just uh, recorded the game. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So Bakari, you are just the avid actor. I'm telling you, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Thank so you. Your parents, they love what you're doing. Are they supporting you as well? Yeah, they've been supporting me. Yeah? Awesome. awesome. They've really helped me out. Awesome. So tell me about Nickelodeon. What was that like? Well, being on Little Lens was like, I liked it because I got to tell about me and show what I've been doing throughout the years. Mm, mm, like martial that's... arts. Oh, um, martial arts? Yeah. You can kick some butt then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do it unless I have to. I do it to mm. defend myself. There you go. That's good. That's a really good thing because Yaya is a fourth degree black belt. I wouldn't want you to go ahead and start beating people up. That fourth is just not degree. good. I am. Isn't that kind of cool though? That we have so much in common. That is so cool. That is so you cool. Get a midnight blue belt though. You oh blue belt. Oh, that is so cool. A and midnight I, blue. A mid. Okay, so excuse me. A midnight blue. Oh no. Midnight sorry. Blue. <laughs> Hello, Maurice. How, how, Marquise, how are you? I'm well. How are you? Oh, we, yeah, hanging yeah. In, we hanging in here doing our thing, man. We're talking with, with Bakari, and he's been on Nickelodeon. He's oh, homeschooled. Wow. wow. He's been <laughs> acting since he was four. Look like he's one of my kids. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, what, what up, bro? What up oh with it? Oh, my gosh. Still Rad B. You already right, wow. know, man. Just locked and loaded, getting ready for the come from. <laughs> so it's such a pleasure to have all of you guys on the show today. I am so honored to have you here. And we're gonna go, we're gonna go down the, you know, we're gonna go down and go around to everybody and get like the gist of you know how you got started. And like Bakari, he started at four and he didn't, wow. he's in Nick, you know, he did Nickelodeon and all kinds of stuff, and he's got some stuff for 2022. Raz B, I know you're getting your fade on and everything. Tell me about yourself and how you guys got started. Oh man, you know, I ain't heard that question in a long time. It's kind of loud in the barbershop, which I know how barbershop is, but I'll be short quick and straight to the point. So the group started with five members mm -hmm. uh, called Melodic. Uh, three of, two of the guys were a little older. They were named uh, Trey, and the other guy was Jaheed, which Jaheed is Janae Opal's brother and Mila J's brother. Mm -hmm. And uh, they actually formed another group called Final Four, and we went on to find a Marion, and we formed a group called B2K. 
we shopped for many, we shopped around the many, many, many labels until finally we, we came across Epic Sony, Max Goose, Marvin Pearden, um, Polly Anthony, Tease Williams, 3OW, they were very instrumental in getting us into to bigger executives mm-hmm. at, at the label. Mm-hmm. Uh, not taking away from David McPherson or, or, or Max Goose, but they were very avid, you know, to really get the big get the big boy, which was Tommy Matola at the time. Yes. To, to, to actually see us and pull the trigger. Uh, we performed for Tommy and the rest was history. But you know, wow. we started at a very, very young age. Me I also started, I've been in the business since I was about, you know, maybe like six or seven years old. But I feel like, yeah, I mean, because I have family in the business, so I've always been around it. I've did little gigs here and there. But I, you know, my very my real first professional. Uh, contract was when I was about 15 when I got signed to Sony BMG. Wow. And that was back in 1999. So, you know, a little over 20 years uh, has been. Isn't it amazing how time flies? I mean, but you started a little late because Bakari started at four. Yeah, he got his beat. (laughs) (laughs) Congratulations, uh, Bakari, on on, on Nickelodeon. Cool story. I actually won a a Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Award in 2003 with my group B2K. What? Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, you guys Pretty have cool. something in common. That is so yeah, cool. Yeah, nah, he, he got it. That's the future right there. Hey, that's right. That's the future right there. That's definitely the future right there. So we have also we have Rico Ball on the show. What's up, man? How you doing? All right. What's up? What's up? How y'all doing? We doing good. We doing good. So we're going around. We're talking to people about right now how they got started. And we talked about Rasby and how he started at six. And Bakari started at four. When did you start? <laughs> oh wow! Oh <laughs> uh, well, you know I was always in in theater and everything, but I was a, a real deal uh, athlete. You know, um, mm-hmm. uh, I obviously, you know, in the in the city, you have dreams of going pro. You know, so I pursued that. I think I played ball up until I was about twenty two, twenty three, mm-hmm. and then you know I had to turn the page. So I around that time. I found, you know, black box theater and mm. I started, I, you can say I started right around 22, mm-hmm. 23. And then from there, it just kind of picked up from there. Wow. So, wow. And you've yeah. done so many different things. So um, from what I've seen here, Black Lightning. Now, I like that show. I'm not yeah. going to lie. I like it. <laughs> I like the outfit. I like him like he was the the one episode I just saw was him flying. He got a new flying suit. So he's oh, flying yeah, yeah, around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you see that too, Bakari? Yep, I did. <laughs> Bakari said he saw that. <laughs> So uh, that up, is Bukari. amazing. Oh yeah, definitely. So we're gonna get back. We're gonna go to James. And, uh what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? How y'all doing, man? All right, what's, what's up? What's up? Yo, 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 yo. How you doing, big brother Rad? I see you, King. Brother. Man, you got it. You got it. You already got it. Hey, I see y'all, up, my boy. How you? Hey. How you doing, my guy? You already. Yeah. Awesome. My awesome. Piece, what up, man? So we're going around talking Bakari, about how, how we doing? got started. Oh yeah, Bakari started at four. Okay. Oh wow. <laughs> you yeah, you got to beat that because Bakari got the youngest age so far. Okay, because oh, nah, Rad started he, he at six. A, he got us all beat. It he got you, like, he got you beat. <laughs> yeah, I, we we started. I I started um singing when I was, but you talking about professionally? Well, I was no, a just teenager. Singing. Oh, a I was teenager. what was three or four when I started singing. Uh oh, Bakari, he's making you run for your money here, Bakari. Three or four. <laughs> yeah, I think we about the same with it, man. I think you still got me beat though. <laughs> <laughs> So you started at around three or four, and then and then what had happened? Did you did you want to really continue singing, or was it something that you just was doing because you liked it at that moment? Oh yeah, I mean at that point, uh, I was just singing because I love to sing. Uh, you know, Mom Dukes was like, "Yo, go outside with that." I was singing all day. You know what I mean? <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. So okay, you know? I'm just gonna go ahead and look at here because I know that we might have some questions in the comments if you guys have any comments or questions for our guests please don't hesitate i am actually looking at the live chat now and uh i'm trying to get let me see what i got here i don't see any questions yet but that doesn't mean anything so you guys 
Thank you so much for tuning in. So we are here today and I do have Eric. Eric, hold on a second because we got Marquise. Marquise, I wanted to find out when you knew that you were going to go ahead and be an actor. Tell me about it. Oh, wow. Um, when I moved to Atlanta, Georgia, um, y'all see I changed sets. That was pretty cool, right? Mm. Now, when I moved to Atlanta, Georgia, I um, was going through some life things and um, the opportunity kind of came through music actually, because I was signed to Divine Stevens, who had a label called Upfront Entertainment. Um, but that wasn't enough, so I needed to make money. So once I met a few people in Atlanta, I met the guy who was in charge of extras casting for TV. Mm. So because I had already had relationships with Dallas Austin and a few other people, they allowed me to get a walk on um, extra role. And mm. then I kind of like just hustled my way up. From there, I went from an extra to a stand-in, uh, to actually having a speaking role in ATL. And once I got the check, I was like, yeah. Hey. <laughs> here I come, Sag. Huh? Oh, nah, Sag. Hey. Oh, where? Brasby. Sag ain't come mess with me at all because Georgia is a um, right-to-work state. Mm. So mm. you don't, you're not really under Sag regulations if you're doing work in Georgia. That's a little little tip for y'all. I say I never gave you nothing. Oh, facts. Mm. Appreciate that. that. I didn't know Hello, that. Jim. Hey. All right. All right. So, okay. So with that in mind, I want to go ahead and go to Eric. Eric, welcome to the show. Okay. So look, so far, Eric, Bakari has beat everybody except for Jace. Maybe, maybe. I'm not going to say, I'm just going to say that three or four does not equip, you know, it's not equivalent to four. He knew it. He knew it. So with that in mind, when did you get started? Well, and how did you know you were going to do what you're doing today? Uh, probably about four, four or five years ago, really. Uh, oh, okay. I just always had a love for, uh, I'm a boxer under Roy Jones Jr. So I always had a love for fighting and um, boxing and being an athlete. I was a, a semi-pro football player. And so um, I just, uh, about four or five years ago is when I, I just pursued it with 100%. So. Mm, 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 mm. so I have amazing people on the show today that are doing amazing things. And Bakari, you have won. Okay, Jace, you tied. I'm just going to say, you tied. You, okay, I give it to you. You tied. <laughs> I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Hold on a second. You got to take off your, uh, there you go. My bad. My bad. I think I'm going to let him win. What, what, did, what do you win? He, uh, there is nothing you won. You just, <laughs> oh, everybody just. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm pulling for you. I'm pulling for you, Bakari, man. <laughs> so Bakari won. He started at four, but that doesn't mean anything because I'm going to let you know that if we don't get started, how can we ever live our best lives? How can we ever fulfill our dreams and our goals? And that's what it's all about in this time to go after your dreams, your goals. I don't really think that there's an age limit on a bunch of different things. Maybe a fighter would be an age limit, but I mean, acting and dancing and singing, all those things. I believe that if you're going for your goals and your dreams, then it doesn't really matter. So um, I want to give this question out to every single last one of you, and you guys can kind of let me know who wants to take this next one. You know, how did you get into where you're at today? Because there's a lot of people that say, hey, my auntie had the hookup. I had the hookup. I know that Rasby said that he got in and he had those connections and then he started with one group and ended up with another. So today we're talking about today and what you're doing today. So let's go ahead and let's start with Bakari because he won. Go ahead, Bakari. Take it. So um, how I got to this point is pretty much just doing what I love and following my dreams. Wow. And I've had to work hard for it too. Bukari is a is, is he loves to say that he works hard for everything. I love that because he is the how would you say the persona persona. How old are you, Bukari? Besides, I mean, just just tell I'm me. I'm nine. Hey, Bukari, are you the kid that was cussing? <laughs> Bukari, did you cuss? Uh, the classroom. I had to play that role. Because I was like a hustler out in the street. So you was cussing your little ass off. Motherfucker, that is him. Right there. I like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. So Bakari, you played the role. You did a great job. So he went after his dreams. He's going after it. And Bakari, what are you getting ready to do now? Well, I'm just going to keep on doing it until I get something. Okay. That sounds good. I mean, we don't know what that's going to be, but who knows? I mean, you know, we don't know what we're going to get. Eric, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you that same question. You know, how did you, how did you do that? What are you doing now? Um, well, I was a semi-pro football player and just uh, pursued uh, athletics and, uh, and then uh, started fighting. And then uh, a management company picked me up and, and got me into some, you know, minor roles. Um, and then, uh, through my boxing, uh, Roy Jones picked me up and brought me a part of his team. Mm. Uh, so I've just been working hard and just staying at it no matter what. So. Wow. That is amazing. I love, I love the fact that we all are just going after it. Um, am I saying this right? Jazz or Jace? Tell me, please. Jace. Jace. Because I have been known to torture a name or two before. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jace. You go ahead and answer that question for me because I know a lot of people want to know the answer for you. Because I know you. Now, you can you ask that question things. again? I think I, I was caught up listening to everybody else. What was the question? <laughs> okay. So the question is you know, when you knew that you were going to go after everything, how did you get to where you're at right now? Like, and what are you doing? Well, honestly, it's a group effort We're coming from, um, if you know the group Soul For Real, there's a yes. group of four brothers, so it's four different entities and elements and, and different desires and all of that. But it all was aligned in one. And um, I, we all, I would say my, um, how, how I got where I'm, I'm at now mm -hmm. just um, was definitely the help of, um, my brothers uh, pushing me, my own, my own uh, push from you know within myself, and um, just really um, learning uh, life. You know, you keep going. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's a natural thing to, uh, you know, when you're good at something. Um, yeah, I guess not in in the face of if, if it's not in the face of too much negativity, that you can just keep going and hone your craft. And uh, yeah, I really can't say um, it. Uh, I owe it to one specific thing. So many things, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. The fans. It's, yeah, there's so know, many different things lot. you could say, and some people have that one thing, and some people have many things. So it's good to know. Definitely, mm. good question. Good question. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna okay. I'm jump Rats. right. I'm gonna jump right in. Yeah, it's a yeah. Good that's I was, I was going right yeah, in. You were next. You were next. There. You was next, uh, no, was next. no, I would have to agree with Jay. Like, individually and collectively, it, it, it takes a village to raise a child, right? So, um, when we all, when you share one mind, it, it's amazing. Like, I told this to the boys the other day uh, MADD, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, right? They, mm. they change the laws. And it, it's the same thing when, when, when we all can come together and share one mind, we can change the world and influence and push the human race forward. So, you know, definitely shout out to Soul For Real, you know, growing, growing up one of my favorite groups. Um, they definitely inspired and, 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 and paved the way for many other groups, such as ourselves, B2K, you know, to come along. And um, that true dedication and that real love, because what happens is the world gets inside and kind of taints the love and, 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 and the politics get involved. Get involved. And that's thing, I think that's one of the things that me and my guys have been working over the past few years, just really getting back to the space where we genuinely love what we're doing. Because mm -hmm. we know the money's there, right? But what if, what if everything's not right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's, it, it's just really about um, staying true to yourself, man. And um, if, if I can turn back the hands of time, I really wouldn't. You know, some people say, well, these things, these are the cards I was dealt. They built and made me and gave me the character because there's so many situations I probably would turn up going in, but I have the wisdom that I can see from A to Z what's going to happen. I'm like, nah, I'm going to go this way. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh -huh. uh, you know, it, I, I count it all joy. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Rico! Yo. Yo, what about you? Uh, let me see. I, I didn't really have any connections or anything like that. I just kind of jumped into it blindly, you know, mm. and... Um, I am you know, I, yeah, I do believe that, um, you know, once the vision is set and you believe, truly, truly believe in your heart and, uh, you know, God just 
tends to align everything for you. And, um, you know, once I took that step forward, you know, I just automatically started meeting the right people, you know, to put me in different positions, you know, to help me level up. And I never really, I I never really believe in like big breaks, you know, because I just feel like it's a body of work, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, I was, I was able to uh, land my first acting gig. And then from there, it just led to another and then another. And then I kept just, just kept going. It started out fast and then it plateaued and it kind of messed with me a little bit mentally because I thought I was just about to shoot straight to the top. And then I, you know, I was, uh, (laughs) I was really awakened by the grind. So, um, you know, it definitely tested me quite a bit and I just kept pushing, you know, just kept fighting. And uh, here I am in the ring right now, still fighting. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm just blessed to be sitting here, you know, on this call with a bunch of winners, you know, who kind of got it out the mud, you know, whether they had a a hand up or not, you know, we all still fight. So. That's right. That's right. Marquise, you know, you're next. I was over here trying to think. I have a lot to tell y'all. Um, <laughs> no, um, I would say um, two. These honestly, two Jewish women. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It was two Jewish women, <laughs> Gail Tashel and Nicole Sage, who wouldn't let me quit. Um, mm-hmm. I didn't really know anything about the industry, and it's funny because my first time even getting an agent. It was more me auditioning them. It wasn't like the other way around. I never experienced what it was like to have to look for an agent mm-hmm. because of the relationships that my managers had. You know, it opened up doors for me. Now my talent, you know, kept those doors open. And also, mm-hmm. I-, I would say resilience because you know how this this industry is. Like especially when you jump out there kind of early, things happen. Yeah, you know what I mean. And um, and it could break you, but not me. You know what I mean? My resilience yeah. kept, me, kept me going. It always kept me going. And I think not quitting. I heard Bakari say that. Just not quitting. Being crazy mm-hmm. enough and insane enough to believe in yourself enough to keep going. No that's matter. right. Yeah, that's it. That's right. I love Bakari. Yeah. I think Bakari throws a show, y'all. We just need to leave. That's the man. <laughs> he, he, I can't he can hear you. Sit. But Bakari, I can't hear you. Unmute your mic. There you go. One more thing. I actually train at AGI. My social media is Beamer Blockton. And my entertainment is C Jam. And I also represent it by BMG. Mm. Break it down. Mm. Oh, that's not that's not no little boy. That's a grown man. I know that's right. I, that's, I, I had the I had the pleasure of talking to Bakari about 20 minutes before we started, and he just blew my mind. And I know, I knew it. He is homeschooled. His parents are taking the time out to actually educate him the right way. And he's gone through two grades in one year, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Congratulations. Also, Kim Toomey. Yes, Kim Toomey. That's right. Kim Toomey Entertainment, which is my girl, Kim. She's Shout amazing Kim. as well. That's right. Shout out to you, girl. Shout out to Kim and Kim. That's right. So, guys. <laughs> What's next on your plateau? So I know that Jazz is with Soul For Real um, and you guys have uh, some Jace, right? Um, yeah, that's fine. it's fine. They used to call me Jazz. Some, I, I, you know. Yeah, no, Jace, you were Soul For Real. Soul For Real. What, what, what are you guys doing next? Do you guys have a song out and where can people find you? Oh, you can find me um, at Jace For Real everywhere. J A S E number four R E A F, yes sir. And um, we got a few singles uh, pending to drop. Um, it's a lot going on. I can't really um, indulge and tell you everything um, you could expect. Uh, unsung uh, episode of that coming. It's a lot going on. We are um, spanning into other. Man, of, uh, I just need y'all to read my love. Still a classic. Yeah. You yeah. never know that that just, you might just see that happen for real. Yep. For real. <laughs> yes, you yes. know, a lot of a lot of people has remade that song since so for real has made the song. Mm. Um, mm. And um, yeah, just for that fact alone, right there, that could be something that you see happen. I know me and Raz. We got some, you know, we was talking about that thing, you know what I mean? So you can look forward right. to that, what we was talking about, man. It's a lot Ooh. going on. It's 
So you, please expect that you can um, look up what I do have available to um, compensate that time until we wait. It's um, just search Jace for real. And um, it's a lot of music out that I put out, mixtapes and then little, little tunes in there you might like. Well, thank you, thank you. And Bakari, what do you got going on? I'm also gonna be doing training, like mm -hmm. with dancing and singing, and I'm just gonna get better as I go. Vicari's nine, y'all. Watch out. Awesome. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying, y'all. Well, y'all got my eye on you, Vicari. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Eric? What's going on? Uh, we've got a few big fights coming up in the near future. Um, I'm also part of a a new CBS series that's coming out called Phrase 7. Um, so where I play a principal bad guy. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, just uh, steady on the grind, you know. Awesome. Awesome. I'm looking for questions, but I think people are just so excited to have you, like me. I'm so excited to have you guys on. But they're not asking anything, but that's okay. And if they do, we all know where to go to answer these questions so we can answer them later. Thank you so much, Eric. And hey, man, stay safe out there. I know what it's like to fight, okay? You, you know, because yeah, I've had my you. I've had my belts. My daughter is actually a kickboxing uh, champion 2020. Um, oh. Yeah, she's got her belt and everything. And uh, she met, um, oh, goodness, I can't even think of his name right now. I'm just, forget it. But she met one of the, one of the MMA fighters. Um, and they took pictures and he was like, oh, congratulations. Her face was this big. So oh. be careful. <laughs> Definitely no, be you. careful. Congratulations to her. <laughs> thank you. Definitely. Thank you. Yeah, she's tough. <laughs> we go. too. Yeah, I know. You karate guy too. I know. I know. Uh. He's got the, what was it? The midnight blue belt, right? No, I actually have just the blue belt, but I said that was the highest level. Okay, I got you. Uh. I got you. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. So we went to um, Rico, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, I got a couple of shows dropping. Um, I'm filming a, a television movie right now with TV One. Mm. Um, yeah. So uh, it's called Stalker. That'll be pretty cool. It's going to be pretty fun. I got a few mm -hmm. uh, dropping something dropping on All Black uh, mm -hmm. here soon. That's that's going to be fun. And right now, I'm just really reading a lot, you know, really just auditioning, mm -hmm. sharp, you know, just sharpening my tools. Yeah, no, that's wonderful. Where can people find yeah. you online, you guys? As as we go through, just tell everybody where they can find you. Um, Eric, where can people find you online? Uh, on Instagram, Eric with a K E R I K dot Baker dot nine hundred. Okay, awesome. And Rico. Uh, IG, I am Rico Ball, and Twitter, I am Rico Ball. Awesome, awesome. Vaz, yeah. I know he's, a, are you almost done, man? They doing, they doing a job with you, boy. I want to see this after they're done, Raz. I want to see this. I am not lying. Clean, clean. Nah, they're going to hook it up. My man is nice. Um, my, my, my handle's always been real simple. Raz B underscore B2K. Uh, I'm, the, I'm the trademark owner of the brand. You know, I purchased it many years back when Michael Jackson actually owned it. Um, I bought that trademark and prepared a place for all of us and put in all four of our names. And then I went out and I found the $3 million that actually turned into the Millennium Tour that grossed $28 million. So mm -hmm. tomorrow, the tour is kicking off. Uh, the Millennium Tour Part 2 is kicking off. Um, so I'm going to head out there tomorrow to, to, to... I'm not on this particular leg of the tour, but I want to... I want to send it off and with, with, with my blessings because I did bring the relationship to the table. So I'm happy that all my peers are able to go out there and get their bag. Um, I think one of the biggest things I'm working on is a digital platform. This is for everybody on the phone. Um, one thing that we don't own when we upload our music, any, any of our content to Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, we don't own the content. So I'm a part of a company called U42, which is a digital platform. They used to be a gaming country, a company about 14 years ago. But they, but, the, but our CEO, Chris Monroe, decided, he said, hey, why, why do uh, content creators don't own their content? Mm -hmm. So over here, you not only do you own your content, you get, you get to keep 100% monetization, where you set your monetization value, and you get to keep 60% of the ad revenue. And even cooler, we pay 10% to the consumers for watching mm -hmm. the ads. So companies yeah. like Apple, yeah. Disney, yeah. Um, Facebook, they've all tried to acquire a company we haven't even launched yet. Mm. So I'm, I'm pushing it. It's called U42. And for everybody on the phone, I'd love to get everybody's Instagram because I'm sure we would all love to have our own digital platform. Pretty cool Definitely. shit. And we'll do um, that. 
we'll stay on afterwards and make sure that everybody oh, get, can I, get each other's I'm on you. I'm on you. And, uh, okay. And um, definitely, you know, I, I'm always managing and pushing for the B2K brand. So, you know, I hope you know, maybe sometime next year we can get an album and maybe a, a residency out of, out of the guys. Um, and last but not least, in the film world, I'm working with a guy by the name of Mark Brown. He wrote mm -hmm. Barbershop 1 and 2 and How to Be a Player. I'm actually ex executive producing a movie called Pumping Gas, which is essentially like Barbershop at the Gas Station. So that's mm -hmm. just a few projects that I'm working on that I actually got some steam on them. Awesome, awesome. Well, we got we have a couple of comments here. It says Bakari know that song. Bakari, you know that song, right? Because you've been talking about that. Which one is that, Bakari? Uh, I know Candy Rain. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh goodness gracious! Classic. Um, oh, yeah. Look at that. Yep. yep. It's like it, it, no, it's a real <laughs> classic. <laughs> oh yeah, mm -hmm. it definitely is. It definitely is, wow. and uh. Mr. Simmons said, bam, bam. <laughs> Mrs. Simmons All right. Said, bam. He said, bam. 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 Well, thank you. <laughs> you for love, man. All I right. So then we got, we got Marquise. Marquise. Hey, what up? Hey. All right. So where I'm can people here. find you and what do you have going on right now? Um, if you go to at Marquise Moore. Um, on all social media platforms, you'll find me. Um, right now, I'm currently on the show that just broke records. Um, mm -hmm. Pilot episode, highest ratings, I think, of all time. I haven't Googled it, but that's what I'm, I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the show BMF, which is on Stars. Um, I play a character by the name of Phil Mel. Uh, it, it's dope. And also, it just got confirmed for season two. Mind you, one episode. Um, mm -hmm. So 50 doing some amazing wow. thing. Wait till y'all see the rest of the season. It gets real grimy. It gets, wow. you know, if you're dealing with 50 and it's going, it's yeah. going to get a little up. So shout out to fifth. Um, and I'm also putting out music. I got an album out right now called Sons of the Mac. Um, me and my brother, Dre P, Pool Boys. I got my own album coming out October the 4th. That's called IMDB, which stands for I'm Dreaming Big. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's real personal. I'm talking about some things. It's even some name dropping going on in there, but y'all got to listen to the music to, to hear it. <laughs> wow, I hear you. I hear you. And I'm here you for know, it. I am so oh, happy. One more thing I forgot yeah, to tell you. Mm -hmm. And I'm also um, about to join the group B2K. So, Raz, let me know. <laughs> Bro, you know what? I, I, we were yeah. talking about, you know, if everybody don't come, we're going to have to just find some new members because we got to keep the shit going. <laughs> I, hear I know how to do the spin move and everything. I've been practicing. Bro, <laughs> Bro you listen, no, no cap. We're going to talk. Yeah, remember B2K. Y'all heard it here first on this blog. Y'all looking for a female? <laughs> Yo, we, 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 I was talking to the boys about doing like that Black Eyed Peas kind of favorite. I think that what? would take the group to the next level. All right, now I just won my Lit Awards Best R and B Vocalist of 2021, Germany. <laughs> so, I love it. But listen to to everyone out there. It takes what Bakari says. You cannot be lazy. You have got to get out there and grind. You've got to get out there and work. And Bakari knows it because he is nine years old and he knows that it takes a lot. And uh, we all do. We all do. Starting at, uh, you know, all of us starting where we've started. And I want to thank every single last one of you for being on the show. Let me tell you something. This is how much I appreciate you. Without you guys being here, I would not have a show. And without you guys doing what you do today, Eric, and Jace, and Rico, and Bakari, and Ras, and Marquise, if you weren't pursuing your careers today, we wouldn't be here talking. So I commend you, and I thank you so much, and congratulations on all your success. I am the person behind there, behind the curtains, clapping, dancing, acting like a fool. You're like, what is she doing back there? I am the person that's going absolutely crazy for you and rooting you on and giving you those high fives. Thank you guys so much for doing what you do. Please stay careful, be careful and keep going. We're gonna have all of you guys information in the description box below, but you know where to reach them. And I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in to Dream Chasers Radio. This has been such a wonderful thing. And let me ask you guys one more question, just one question. Anybody can kind of jump in and say something if they want. What would be your suggestion to people who are watching you today 
and the reason why they should go for their dream. You never know. Go oh, first. Go. first. I'm gonna go. You know that that um, if you stop now, you know the picture where they show the guy um whacking away, and all he had to do was hit it a few more times, and he mm -hmm. he would have uh, met his his um his fortune. That's a good reason not to stop. You know what I mean? Like you never know if you if you quit. You never know, man. If you quit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who else? Bakari, tell him. <laughs> what was your question again? <laughs> what kind of advice do you give to people who, you know, maybe they, they need some encouragement and they, you know, they need your encouraging words to go after their dreams. What would you tell them? Well, just keep on working and you can make it. That's simple. He just like, just work. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? Eric, would you like to say something today? I would just say never give up. You're going to face adversity when you're chasing your dreams. You're going to face the haters. You're going to face the critics. Um, just keep pushing forward. You know, uh, focus on your goal and your dreams and, and just, just keep grinding. Definitely. That's right. I have Mr. Simmons saying here, stay uh, persistent and be in for the longevity. Mm -hmm. Jazz knows. Right, Jazz? Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Raz, what you say? What you say? What Raz say? Uh, if you don't if you don't build your dreams, you, you're gonna be building somebody else's. So you have to decide on what type of person you're gonna be a leader or a follower. It's that simple. And of course, the, the, the basic fundamentals, you know, faith with no no action, you know, you know, you know, you're not gonna be able to produce anything. So persistence, That's faith, right. hard work, a humble heart, humble spirit, man. And it's like always remember it takes a it takes a village to raise a child. So people don't wanna uh, put a monster on top. Definitely, definitely. Rico. Uh, I would just say, you know, that you're not really living until you're on purpose, you know. And when you're on purpose, you're free. And until and then until you're free, you'll forever be a, a a prisoner to your nightmares, to your frustrations, you know. So take that step and go for it. Don't look back. Let's Get on purpose, end. man. Wisdom. Man, Marquise, what's up, man? Tell me, tell me what you feel. I know Marquise got that deep element. I can't hear you though. But take, take your. I ain't really got go. nothing. I only really got nothing deep to say. Um, I was just saying because if you, at the end of the day, if you quit, you'll always like somebody else say. You'll always wonder like, damn, what if? What if I would have never stopped? You know what I'm saying? I think that's the that's worse than dying almost because every day you're living with the regret of never really live in life like the other homie said so i would just tell you like nobody else gonna do, do shit for you so you might as well make the best out of your life you only get one you won't borrow time every breath you breathe is one less so mm -hmm. you might as well you might as well make something out of it well hey, gentlemen uh, does anybody else want to say anything else before we finish today uh what does um, Russell Simmons say at the end of that show he used to have? I God always say, who me? <laughs> Thanks for coming out. God bless you. Good night. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> what, what Jim Carrey is saying, Truman said, if I don't see you, good morning, good afternoon, and good, and good night. <laughs> One of my mentors, um, somebody I really look up to, he says, um, and this is Pootie Tang, he says, um, runny tie on a sunny tay. I'll leave you with okay. that. Because it means it's deep. You got to Google it, though. I got you. I got you. Uh, what? That's another one. <laughs> I told you he was going to say something deep. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Yo, fellas, it was an honor being on here. You know, like you said, one thing we all got, uh, got in common. I think, Ricky, uh, I think Bell said that. You, uh, Rico, I, uh, we're all winners, man. We all came from the mud. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that we're all here, it's just a blessing. It's just a moment to celebrate. So, y'all. Y'all keep being great. I'm going to make sure I follow everybody on Instagram and I catch all y'all down the road. Yeah, Definitely. look for everybody. Definitely. Link. Peace. Definitely. Peace, Peace out, peace. you guys. Thank you guys uh, so much for joining me here. It's been such a pleasure and an honor to be here with you guys. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. And don't forget to dare to be different, guys. I got out of here, I gotta go. Cause I'm on file 56 and counting. I'm just jumping, I'm jumping. All right, All right yeah, yeah. thank you guys so much. Peace thank out you. everybody. Don't All forget right, to dare to be different. Good night. Right. Good night. <laughs> See ya. See ya.